what is up my beautiful baby so today we are gonna do some pop smoke braids y'all i am just parting his hair out to make sure that it is even with the other side because the other side is already done and then i am going to put some jam on to make that part super super crispy and i'm going to repart it y'all so y'all let me know if y'all okay with this so i'm i think i want to start doing like story times throughout the process of me braiding whether it's life stories or hair horse hair horror stories of me braiding hair i don't have a whole lot of hair horror stories because i normally once i get a client they become like a regular so i don't really have a whole lot of hair horror stories but I think that would be like really nice for me to tell y'all some stories or you know like life situations as I'm braiding hair so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that idea if y'all cool with that if y'all want to know a little bit more about me or should even be able to laugh at some of the stuff that I went through and y'all he is extremely tender-headed so it's y'all please don't mind the faces i'm not hurting him y'all i promise he's well i'm not braiding tight or anything like that he's just really tender headed um so yeah now i'm just lathering um both sides of the part that i'm about to braid i do part through like i told y'all make sure you put in the jam in between the braids so that you can get that crispy crispy stitch look this is y'all please don't forget this though now i'm just gonna mold it you want to mold it into the um, position that you want to braid the braid that makes it easier that when you're stitching you don't have to go back and recomb over it if you're molding it in that um position already it makes it pretty easy when you go to actually start braiding so just a tip on that as well um i'm just combing making sure everything is detangled at the ends as well and now we are about to start braiding i do part out that first piece and then the comb is put away <laughs> um i take my three pieces and of course we're gonna go back and forth i braid down three times the very first piece y'all and then we just gonna go back and forth with um stitching so y'all can tell y'all one story now so i had a client she booked through style seat so she was confused about whether or not um because it was during covid time so she did text and was like hey i'm outside to see if she was at the right house so i'm like okay so i went to the door and y'all i'm only five three so i don't stand that tall i do have a two-story house so i was standing in the doorway but i don't believe she can see me at all because we have like a bush right in front of my house but i stood there for a while and she never got out of the car and i was like finishing up my last client so i was like okay well whenever she's ready she will come to the door and ring the doorbell is what i was thinking because when she texted i said okay and then i went to the door but she never got out of her car so i was assuming assuming too that she maybe she was on the phone so a couple minutes went by i was finishing my client and you know she was getting ready to leave and the girl texted me and was like well, I sat outside for, you know, about 10 minutes and you did not um, come to the door or even come and get me. And I'm like, baby, if you go anywhere, the smart thing would be to come ring the doorbell or come to the door itself. Like, you never even got out of the car. Did she think I was about to get out of, come out the house to go to her car to get her? I was like, girl, bye. So, y'all, please just, just get out the car. If you go to a hair shop, and that's what confused me. If you go to a hair shop or a salon, they, you don't, the people don't come outside to come get you. You go inside and sit in the lobby and wait, right? So, I'm trying, I'm confused. I love to uh, be at the comfort of my home. Y'all, yeah, I could go, get, go to a salon if I choose to, but I prefer to be at home. It's convenient for me. I love it. And I love being in my safe space. So I would rather, you know, do hair from home. I couldn't understand her rationale behind she wanted me to come get her. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Haven't heard from her again. I actually blocked her 
off of my site after she did that because I don't need rude clients. Y'all, I love all of my clients and they have been nothing but sweet and beautiful, but yeah, that one confused me. I was like, mm-mm, girl, you tripping. <laughs> I didn't need that, that negative energy. Noah in my space at all, honey. Stay in your car where she stayed. <laughs> so... Yeah, that was just one of the hard, of many hard, well, like I said, I don't have too, too many, but I got a few more. But once again, I'm just going to keep doing this, and yeah, now I'm just going to let y'all watch me work, because like I said, I had a long day, y'all, and oh, and your girl is trying to get sick, I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice, but it's a little raspy. So, I've been taking some Night Queen Day Quill, trying to knock whatever it is that's trying to come. I've been trying to knock it out because I ain't got time to be sick. I just, it's too much money to be made for me to be sick, baby. I ain't got time. But I hope everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Make sure y'all letting all y'all loved ones know y'all are thankful and grateful for them. Make sure y'all get some good prayers in. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to even share your girl videos. And continue to comment, y'all. I love talking to y'all. Like, that is great. Especially when it comes to the questions and all that stuff. I love to answer y'all questions as much as I possibly can. So, yeah. Keep those coming, y'all. And, yeah. I'll see y'all in my next one. Just finish watching me work. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Peace.